This is Did You Do It? It's 7.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, July 22nd, 2018. And this here is a, uh, a video I published on July 19th called Alert Hudson Bay 95 Degrees. And what I was trying to highlight, this was on the College of DuPage website when I still had access, was these low-lying blue clouds. Looked like fog to me. And those clouds persisted for days. So what I did was I went and dig, dug up some Hudson Bay sea temperatures and it showed uh, a very odd um, signature, very high temperatures. Okay, well, I went back on that uh, on the 20th to try to verify if these low clouds were still there and I was shut down. And I go through these periods where they shut me down on uh, a lot of my favorite websites and I, I broke them down into censored websites now these are all the ones I'm not allowed on anything satellite or real-time related hydrology ge geothermal astronomy astrology they're not letting me on those but uh, they are letting me on a bunch some geology nothing real time so what Let's see, I took you, okay, after I took you to this, I ended up the following day showing you Null School, where it looks more normal. But because I can't go to College DuPage or, and verify the low-lying clouds, I'm kind of at a standstill there. So I took you to, I stayed on Null School, and I talked about the wind and the temperatures at a very high altitude, 10 HPA, which is 100,000 feet. Well, what I'm going to do now, because they give me no other choice, i got to go somewhere different, I'm going to take you to the Global Hydrology Resource Center. And what I'm showing you is the global average temperatures at 135,000 feet. Okay. Now, if you'll notice this graph, uh, I do have a, a centigrade to Fahrenheit uh, conversion chart. I'm going to give you the link to it. But if you look at it in January, it seems like at this level, temperatures are warmer in the winter months and they cool down in the summer months and they warm up in the winter months this graph is 2000 uh, I mean sorry it was last updated on July 22nd but this represents 2017 now I don't know anything about that is that normal well they give you an option to compare them against previous years and the more you click on, the more years will show up, and they're color-coded, and they'll show you. So I wanted to see what 2017 looked like against the rest of them to kind of form a, an idea. So let's see. Okay, come on. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, there it is. 2017, they're all about the same. They're warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer up at that level. I got to tell you, down here, there's a bunch of options to go to the different altitude levels. And the, close, the closer to the ground you get, you get it's warmer, it's cooler in the winter and warmer in the summer. But that's not what I'm talking about. So all these look normal. Now what I'm going to do is throw in this year, 2018. Now this is the reason why I'm bringing you here, because from 2002 to 2017, the temperatures ranged from 20 below centigrade to 22 below centigrade. They were warmer in the, in the winter and cooler in the summer. Okay, now I'm going to add 2018 in there. I'm going to show you what happened. You know, your jaws are going to drop. Something happened. Okay, I'll show you. Come on. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Huh. I'm going to try to zoom in on that for you. On June, on June 21st, on the day of the summer solstice, at 135,000 feet, Aqua Satellite Channel 14, the temperatures plummeted from 24 centigrade below, 24 and a half, down to 26 and a half. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but look at this. It's just something happened. I don't know. It's just cool. Don't know what it is, but uh, 
and this is, I, I got a little time left, so I'm going to show you. I got to tell you, it, that's the only place at 135,000 feet that that particular anomaly will show up. I'm going to take you to 118,000 feet and redraw the map, leaving all the years in there. Now this is 118,000 feet now. It's not as high. The other one was tickling the belly of the ionosphere. So this one, now see, there's no great big uh, temperature plummet in that area. Okay, but I'm gonna, you can go one at a time. I'm gonna take you down to 68,000 feet for a reason. Because you'll see it's warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer on average. Okay, now I'm gonna take you to 60, 68,000 feet because that's about the area where, come on, damn. All right, where things start to level out. I mean, they stay about the same temperature year round, but the closer to the ground you get, you'll see, this is at 36,000 feet. You'll see the, an inversion I'm talking about where, of course, the temperature of the globe and the you know heat being radiated off of it and all that so that's what I would expect but I don't know why it's different well it's not a good that's not a good depiction 36,000 feet I'm gonna take you down to 14,000 feet to show you but it does change okay any day now okay See, it's cooler in the winter, warmer in the summer, just like it is on the ground. Now, that's just an anomaly, and they tell you that this channel failed in 2013, so no big deal on that there. But you'll notice that the uh, 2018 severe drop in temperatures at 135,000 feet, uh, this is the only... It's the only channel it shows up on. It's the 135,000. Okay. Right on the same day as the summer solstice. And we know that all the planets aligned in uh, Mr. MBB333's alignment here a couple days ago. So, I mean, this may be that it was, uh, you know, kind of a precursor. Maybe that this uh, alignment actually took place a month ago and everybody out there has you know, portrayed it to be occurring when it did. I don't know, there's evidence supporting it just aligned a couple days ago, so. But who knows, on June 21st, if you look in there, is the day it plummeted. If I can do this. See that, June 21st, plummet. And it's still down here right now. I don't know anything about that. All I know right now is I'm did you do it.